During this video, you will learn how to use barcodes to automatically separate and index documents with Kofax Express. But why would you use barcodes in the first place? With the barcode on the first page of each document, you can automatically trigger the creation of a new one. In that way, you can just feed a stack of documents through the automatic feeder and not worry about document separation. You can also use the content of the barcode or barcodes to fill out search fields and index each document. Kofax Express can read barcodes from color and black and white images in all orientations, and it does an excellent job reading damaged or low quality barcodes. It supports 13 different barcode types. First, let's give some more background information about some popular barcode types, which you often see on invoices, delivery notes, policy contracts, patient records, etc. Barcode 128 is a linear barcode supporting a complete character set and is relatively small. You often see these on official documents. Mail and shipping companies around the world are using barcode 128 for tracking. Barcode 39 has been around since 1974, but these barcodes are still popular because you can easily produce them by using a barcode font. However, they take a lot of space on your documents and only support a limited number of characters. QR code is the new barcode standard, and if you're a smartphone user, you probably have scanned some of these codes with your phone to load a web page or enter a new contact in your address book. They're compact, support all possible characters, and are very fast and reliable to decode even when heavily damaged. Because they're so popular, there are many tools out there to produce QR codes. PDF417 has similar benefits compared to QR code, but is less popular. You often see them on identification cards and boarding passes. Kofax Express also supports patch codes. They don't contain any information and just serve as separator codes. Now let's show a practical example of how barcodes can be used with Kofax Express. Using labels is probably one of the most popular ways to barcode documents. For example, you may have noticed when you get admitted as a patient, the person creating your file often sticks a unique barcode identifier label on the first page of your file. This identifier will later be used to link your scanned documents with your information in the patient database. Once a number of patient files is closed, they will be scanned. Kofax Express will automatically start a new document every time it detects a barcode. It will also use the barcode data to index the patient files. Kofax Express can complete the index by looking up the patient name, birth date, admission date, etc. in a database. Database lookup is covered in more detail in a separate video. After real-time automatic document separation and indexing, the patient files can immediately be exported to a document management system of choice. Let's see this in action and learn how to set this up in Kofax Express. Let's scan some patient files. Kofax Express detects the barcode on the first page and creates the first document. The patient ID is automatically filled out. Other index fields, such as patient name, treatment and birth date, are completed through database lookup. In the meantime, document 2, document 3 and document 4 are also created and fully indexed as well. We can now export our documents. For the demo, we will export the patient files in PDF format to a folder on our desktop. As expected, we find four multi-page PDF files in our folder, one per patient file. We named each patient file according to its index fields. In the PDF viewer, we can navigate through the pages. Let's go back to Kofax Express and have a look how to configure a scan job using barcodes. The barcode type on the first page is code 128, and each barcode always contains 12 digits. We configure barcode reading in the Barcode Setup tab. Behind the first button, you define which type of barcode will be used for document separation. We select code 128. For indexing, this tab shows a mini three-step tutorial guiding you through the setup process. In short, step one, select the barcode type, two, configure barcode filters to ignore unwanted barcodes, three, 
go to the index tab to link a barcode value with an index field. In this job, we use code 128 for both separation and indexing. So we select code 128 in the barcode dropdown for indexing as well. You may have noticed that some documents besides the first page also contain a barcode. For example, page 3, a lab report, contains a barcode which is not related with our scanning job. GoFax Express can ignore these unwanted barcodes by defining a barcode filter. In this job, we only want barcodes which are exactly 12 digits long. The lab report barcode, which is only 10 digits long, is therefore ignored. For the final step, we open the Index Setup tab. To keep this video short, we have already created five index fields and the patient ID is defined as a database lookup field. Database lookup is covered in another video tutorial. We link the barcode value with the patient ID by simply selecting barcode 1 from the drop-down list. As you can see, Kofax Express also supports multiple barcodes on your documents. If you want to read barcodes from the back side of your cover sheet, you just select on page 2. In our job, we keep the setting on page 1. The other fields get their data from the database lookup, and similar to the way we link the first field with the barcode value, we will link now each of the other fields with a field from the database. To use the index data to name our PDF files, we configure this in the Job Setup tab. In this job, we export to a folder on our desktop and will make use of the multi-page export connector. We can construct a file name by just picking values from a list. We can combine fixed characters like underscores, spaces and hyphens with any of our index fields or system values like operator name, document number or batch name. On the right side of the multi-page export setup, you can see a preview of how your files will be organized after export. The Kovax Express export functionality is also covered in detail in another video tutorial. Kovax Express really shines when used in combination with QR codes. In fact, thanks to its high density, a single QR code can contain multiple barcode values. You just need to separate each of the values with a semicolon. In our example, we encoded last name, first name, birth date and admission date in a single QR code. Kofax Express interprets each of these values as an individual barcode. And as we demonstrated before, you can easily link index fields with any of these barcode values. Because the single QR code contains the complete document index, you don't require database lookup anymore. In summary, barcodes are a real effective way to automate your scan process. Kofax Express supports pretty much every barcode type you can possibly find on a document. Document separation and indexing can be completely automated. You can complete the index by using the barcode value to look up additional data in an external database. Finally, you can export scanned documents and their index to a folder structure or a document management system of choice. This short video only covers Kofax Express at a high level. Kofax Express features an extensive help which you can access through the Help tab. Just press the Help button and navigate to the topic you want to know more about. If you want to try out Kofax Express for yourself, visit the Kofax website at www.kofax.com and download the Kofax Express trial today.